Today, I will be showing you how to make some kawaii candles. You're going to need some candle wax, and you can reuse any candles that you have laying around at home. You're also going to need some candle wicks, and I got these from Cozy Yours. I will be leaving the link below if you want to purchase the same one. The great thing is that they have these little sticky circles, so you can take one, and they have a sticky back. Remove it and stick it to the back of the candle wick. Then remove the other one. You can stick it to the base of your container so you don't need any candle wax or hot glue. I just want to thank Cozy Yours really quick for sending me these awesome candle wicks. You're also going to need some crayons to color the candle wax and you can even use the broken part. Begin by melting a little bit of candle wax. Add color with some chunks of crayon and let it melt. I'm going to make some pink. And also some black because I'm going to make a panda bear. I'm going to use these round silicone molds and I'm going to cut my candle wick because it was too long. I should have ordered smaller ones. Now I'm going to use the sticky part and Stick it to the candle wick, take the back off, like I said, and stick it to the silicone mold. This is great because now you don't need candle wax or hot glue. Then put the top on. Pour the wax. I will be using a funnel that I made out of wax paper. Now I'm going to pour in the wax, which doesn't have color because I want it to be white. I'm going to fill it to the top of the mold and then remove the funnel to make sure the candle wick is centered. I will be using the leftover piece. Once the wax has set, I'm going to remove the mold and then I will remove these, this top part because I don't need it. Also, I will be using the leftovers to make the ears. I made this tiny triangle cardboard mold and I will be using it as a template. Place it on the wax and trace on it. Remove the excess with your X-Acto knife. What you want is that it's a triangle that kind of looks like this. It should look like the ear of a cat. I'm doing the same thing with the pink wax, except it's gonna be smaller. Now what I'm going to do next is carve out some of the wax to make room for the tiny pink triangle. As you can see, it fits on perfectly. I did the exact same process with the nose, except with a tiny triangle. Now it's time to attach the ears. Carve out a little bit of the wax to make room for the ear. Then add some melted candle wax and then add on the ear. And since I'm working with wax, I thought that an eyeliner pencil would work perfectly. I'm going to use it to draw closed eyes with long eyelashes. Then, I'm going to make a tiny little mouth. To do the cheeks, I'm using Sharpie, which don't stay on well, but it's fine because I only need a touch of pink. I also made a panda candle, and I'm removing some of the pencil eyeliner. And instead of carving spaces for the ears, I'm melting the wax to attach the ears. You can make any design that you want, like a cat or a panda, or even something without ears, like this one. That way you don't have to worry about the cutting and tracing.
To make sure that the melted candle doesn't spill everywhere, put it in a little dish. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up. Bye!